Hello, in today's technical corner, I'm delighted to say I'm joined by Autodesk's very own Clinton Perry, and we're going to be talking about some of their new products. So, Clinton, many thanks for joining us. Hi, Joe. Thank you for the opportunity. Anytime. And we're going to be talking about interactive collision avoidance. Yeah, well, uh, just to explain, we, uh, we're obviously talking about the Powermore Cam software here today. That's, that's my baby. Um, and Powermore 2019 recently had an update, so 2019.1. So that was released in early September. Um, <clears throat> we know that when you're driving five axis machine tools, in, in fact, three axis machine tools, one of the big risks when you're driving these very expensive machines is, is collisions. They happen, we want to avoid them if possible. And so with the 2019.1 release of Palma, we've, we've put some pretty cool technology in specifically to help identify and manage collisions that mm. might occur. So you can see the video behind this is a great example. Um, traditionally, if you're creating a toolpath within the Palma software, so prior to this enhancement, we gave you the option to identify where collisions were occurring and to remove them. So the toolpath would be calculated, any collisions or near misses involving the, the holder would be removed. But of course the problem with that is that there'd be a great big gap in your toolpath. There's still stock that needs to be removed. And so this latest release actually changes the way the code works. You can see here, collisions, instead of them being removed, they're highlighted in a different color. So that makes it far easier for you to identify the fact that there is a problem and take steps to repair it. Like tilt the head, for instance. Yeah, so this is a great example. This is a, a, an automotive mold. Um, most of the component can be cut with three axis machining. Um, but not all of it. And so we can make a choice. We can decide to identify areas where there are collisions, maybe use a longer tool. Mm -hmm. That's not always going to be the best solution because longer tools can generate chatter and deflection and other problems. But as you say, we can use Palmwood's dynamic machine control tools to tilt the machine into a different position and avoid those collisions. The real nice thing here is that as you fix your toolpath to remove those collisions, the toolpath colors automatically update. And, and, a, and it's quite a fast process, isn't it? So the people out there worried about they want to get a program in and out as quick as they can, make chips, make some money. It, it, it's not a big issue, is it? This, this is pr it's pretty much instant. Yeah, very much so. And that, that's one of the big things about a power mill generally. Um, you can calculate the toolpath and it might be sort of 90% what you want. That 10% is not quite what you're after. You know, in some of the other systems, um, you've got no choice but to go back, change a setting and mm -hmm. try the whole toolpath again. That takes time. There's extra calculation overhead. Well, here you can calculate the toolpath and say, okay, these purple areas, there's a problem. Um, this menu identifies where those problems are. Uh, I can fix the problems and only mm -hmm. fix those problems and not have to waste time recalculating the whole process. Sure. Increase the access stability. Yeah. So as I mentioned, uh, we released Palmer 2019 a while back um, and that had a pretty revolutionary new function in it called automatic tool axis tilting. And what, what is that? Um, so as I say, five axis programming, you want to avoid collisions at all costs. We know that the, if you don't, the, the ramifications can be disastrous. Um, and, and legacy users of Palm will be familiar with the fact that we've had automatic tool, axis, or tool tilting, if you like, to avoid collisions for quite a while. But the user had lots of choices. They had, they had a, a multitude of options that they could choose to control how the machine would tilt to avoid those collisions. Now, if you're an expert user of Palm, well, that's fantastic. You've got huge amounts of control. But if you're a new user to five axis machining or you've only just bought a new five axis <coughs> machine tool, there's obviously going to be some, some unease there to, to identify the right option to choose. And so with 2019.0, we added an automatic option. You literally just select automatic and regardless of what tool you're using, the strategy you're using, um, the shape of the model you're cutting, the machine would avoid the collisions as we can see here by tilting the rotary axis out of the way. This update, the 2019.1 update, includes a, a small but really substantial improvement. And that is that we've stabilized the movement of the C-axis of the machine tool. And so what happens is when we identify it, that there's a risk of a collision, the machine will tilt in the virtual world to avoid the collision. But that C-axis movement is going to be far more stable. You're not going to have the C-axis wibbling around. The machine is going mm -hmm. to find a safe position and stay at that position until the finish of that cut. Okay, so you've made it a lot more operator friendly. Dare I say it, de-skilled it slightly. Yeah, and uh, it's worth highlighting, as I said before, we've added this automatic option to simplify five axis mm -hmm. programming for those new users that, that might be a little bit wary of five axis programming and the risks that it brings with it. But let's be clear, we've not taken functionality away. So those 
long-serving users of Palmwood, they've mm -hmm. got the expertise, they've still got those previous options where they can go in and take a little bit more sure. control. And this is available for everybody or just new subscribers? No, if you're a, a, a legacy user of Powermill, so if you've got a maintained perpetual license, you can still use this functionality. And obviously, if you subscribed to Powermill, which is a different license mechanism, you'll get that same technology as well. Very good. There we are. For more information, get in touch with Autodesk.